if the rough and tumble of Chicago politics is not where you would expect to find a slightly built Catholic nun, well, you've never met Sister Sheila Line. Sister Sheila has been an icon in Chicago health care for almost a half a century. For 10 years in the 1990s, she made history as Chicago's public health commissioner. For 15 years before that, her work as Chicago's top public health officer, and for another dozen years afterwards, this smart, visionary, courageous woman served as president and CEO of Mercy Hospital and Medical Center, a legendary institution that has helped countless numbers of poor families on the south side of the Chicago dating back to before the Civil War. As public health commissioner, Sister Sheila was never afraid to tackle the powerful. Her decisions were based on her conscience and an iron will. She was once arrested for ignoring a judge's order. He ordered her to test every child in a Chicago public school for lead poisoning because she believed the edict was unnecessarily broad. Sister Sheila said she would ignore the order because she thought it would hurt the children and deplete her department's limited resources to help the poor. They put her in jail. She was in jail for two hours before she was released. The first time she took over as president of Mercy Hospital in 1976, that hospital was bleeding money and on the verge of closing. Sister Sheila, with her business savvy and innovative management ideas, helped put the hospital in the black. In the year 2000, following a series of management blunders, Mercy was losing $40 million a year and once again about to go down for the count. Sister Sheila stepped down as Chicago's public health commissioner, returned to Mercy Hospital as president and CEO, and created a dramatic, historic turnaround effort at that hospital. Once again, she succeeded with a series of shrewd business decisions, innovative reforms, and determination. A year ago, Sister Sheila helped engineer the sale of Mercy Hospital to Trinity Health, the 10th largest health system in the nation, and the fourth largest Catholic health system. Last week, at the age of, as she says, 76 and a half, and she insists on including the half, Sister Sheila announced she'll step down as president and CEO of Mercy Hospital as soon as her successor can be named. While she remained with Mercy, Mercy as a senior advisor to the foundation, the hospital's philanthropic arm, her departure as Mercy's president and CEO brings to a close one of the most remarkable careers in Chicago healthcare in our lifetimes. Sheila Line was born and raised on the south side of Chicago, one of three children of Irish immigrants who met in America. She attended Little Flower Elementary School and Mercy High School. She joined the Sisters of Mercy, a Catholic religious order, in 1953. She earned her master's degree in psychiatric nursing from St. Xavier College and an MBA from the University of Chicago and served three years as an assistant professor at the University of Iowa before joining Mercy Hospital in 1970. In 1976, she became Mercy Hospital's president and CEO. In closing, I want to read a short excerpt from the Chicago Sun-Times editorial. Here's what they said about Sister Line. Some people fight for the poor and the dispossessed by marching on the castle, torches high. Others, fighting the same fight, cross the drawbridge and work from the inside, maneuvering the levers of power, mastering the arts of management and politics. Sister Sheila Line is the second kind of activist, remarkably so, having done much to make Chicago a more caring city for half a century. The editorial went on to say, Sister Sheila says it's time she calls it quits, but we suspect we'll see her again. She's of a generation of Catholic sisters and of a particularly steely order, the Sisters of Mercy, who tend to work until they can't work anymore. They are smart, educated women who run things. They are tough and ramrod straight, and we would rather they never ret retire, certainly not this one." End of quote. Well, anyone, anywhere, who questions the Catholicity, the Christianity of American Catholic nuns needs to meet Sister Sheila, a woman who has given her life, life to the least of our brethren. Loretta and I and countless Chicagoans over three generations feel exactly the same way. Sister Sheila Lyons' passionate devotion to health care and justice has made Chicago a healthier, better city, and we are all in her debt.